Now let's talk about the polar coordinate system. So you can see we have a particle traveling along a path and we have an angle theta and a radial distance r which measures from the origin to the particle. So our unit vectors are going to be this ur and u theta and these are not constants, they are functions of time. So ur and u theta are functions of time. So ur is always going to go straight from r and 90 degrees off of that is always going to be our theta unit vector u theta. So let's get into what our position is going to look like. So our position can be defined as r and we can write that as r of t times u sub r. Velocity, we know that velocity is the derivative of the position with respect to time. And we can plug in what we know for position that we just defined above. So we're going to say d over dt. And that will be equal to dr over dt times u sub r plus r ur over dt. So this is going to be the derivative of a product, so we're going to use the product rule, and that will give us v equals r dot times u sub r plus r times sub r dot. And the dot's just showing that we're taking a derivative. So here is our velocity expression here. And we know that u r equals theta dot times u sub theta. And we're not going to break this down, but this is an equation that we're going to need to know. So velocity, our final expression, when we plug that in, it's going to look like v equals r dot times u sub r plus r times theta dot times u sub theta. And we need to know that because we need to be able to have a theta component. So now we have our, our component of the velocity and our theta component. So we just plug this in down here and that's, there we go. So that is what's going to give us our final velocity expression. So our acceleration we know that acceleration equals the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. So we can plug in for what we just described as velocity. So we're going to say r dot And that is going to give us t over dt times r dot ur plus t over dt r theta dot times u sub theta. So here we know that acceleration, derivative of the velocity, so we're just going to simplify this and there's quite a bit of math that's going to go into this, so I'm not going to run through it too much, but I'll write it out just in case you need to know it or you're curious. <laughs> so, r dot u sub theta plus r 
So that's R D over DT. Theta dot times U sub theta times, I don't know if I have enough room, so we're going to times R times theta dot U sub theta plus theta dot U sub theta dot. And that's going to give us a final expression here after breaking it down. But we're going to need to get rid of these derivatives of the unit vectors. So after we write all of this out at nauseum, then the double dot times this theta plus r times theta dot u sub theta. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get rid of these unit vectors by using this expression for u sub theta dot. So we're going to say u sub theta dot equals negative theta dot times u sub r. And we're going to plug in this equation for u here, let's write that in. Substituting for our u r dot and u theta dot is going to give us our acceleration equation. So it's going to say r double dot minus r times theta dot squared times u sub r plus 2 r dot theta dot plus theta double dot times r times u sub theta. So that is our equation for acceleration. So hopefully you can just write this down and remember it and you'll never have to actually derive it. But you can see here we have our R component and our theta component. So looking at our particle one more time, now that we know these definitions for velocity and acceleration, we can show here our velocity in the R direction is going to be equal to the R equals r dot, which is the r component of our velocity, and our theta component is going to be equal to v theta equals theta dot times r. And our acceleration in the r direction is going to be equal to a r equals r double dot minus r times theta dot squared and our acceleration in the theta direction is going to be equal to a theta equals 2r dot times theta dot plus r times theta double dot. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps support my channel and helps me continue making videos for you guys. I'll see you next time.